On the day they buried one of their best loved sons, Ghanaians chose to mark his passing with celebration rather than sorrow. Ghana's president and political leaders paid tribute to the poet statesman, who'd been a political activist in his youth and went on to serve his country as a diplomat and presidential advisor. Among the country's cultural and political leaders, Kofi Awunor's son, Afetsi, who was also injured in the Westgate attack. The affairs of this world are like a chameleon pieces into which I have stepped. Mr. Awunor was best known for his poetry, but the memorial celebrated his many other roles. Dramatist, actor, teacher and politician. He didn't want people weeping and wailing and crying. And this is the best way the state of Ghana decided to celebrate him. He was a, a dramatist, a poet, an essayist. And for those of us who drank several or several times from his deep fountain of knowledge, we knew that this is the kind of thing that he would love. Kofi Awuno was known for his passion for life, his humor and his generosity with younger writers and artists. His friends used to say that when he left the party, the music stopped. But in Accra, his many friends and admirers kept it playing a little longer in his honor. Gronje Harrington, BBC News.